euh, je pense qu'avec le groupe qu'on a, le public qu'on a, ce serait vraiment dommage de ne pas faire les, faire les play-offs. Donc euh, voilà, on va essayer d'appliquer ce qu'on a fait depuis le début de la saison, de bien le faire justement sur 90 minutes, essayer d'être le plus productif possible, que ce soit offensivement et défensivement, et ramener les trois points si possible. On reste un petit peu sur euh, les mêmes principes que d'habitude, en fait, sans se mettre plus, que la pression, plus de pression que d'habitude. Je pense que si on reste focalisé sur euh, nos certitudes à nous, savoir ce là où on est bon, et euh, essayer de gommer les petits, les petits défauts comme euh, le match dernier où on est un petit peu pêché sur la fin de match. Je pense que pour faire de, de, de bonnes choses, Carolina c'est une très bonne équipe, euh, l'une des meilleures du championnat je pense, de loin. Et, euh, mais voilà, ça ne me fait pas peur, au contraire, de, de beaux matchs comme ça à domicile c'est très très bien. Donc euh, voilà, je pense que ça nous a réussi de jouer les grosses équipes cette année comme à Vancouver en coupe. Donc euh, j'espère qu'on va rééditer ces performances là. Oh, you know, the thing is that probably tonight they're going to win because it's Atlanta. So, you know, it's going to be more pressure on us to, uh, to, uh, to win the game. We don't have any choice to be perfect. We have three games and we have to win three or three of them. And, uh, you know, and hopefully they, they, can, uh, they can lose one. I'm going to look for sure. I'm going to look for sure to know. And, uh, but, you know, no matter what, it's going to be, uh, you know, difficult for us. So we have to, you know, make sure that we do our job tomorrow. You know, one game at a time. If we keep winning, uh, keep putting pressure on them, and you know, we are a lot, you know, more experienced than them. We have been in this position before. They are, you know, they are, they are younger players with less experience, and you know, hopefully, hopefully that can affect them. Yeah. Three points out of them. You know, we've had success here over the over the last month or so at home. Uh, if we come out and you know we're confident, I think confidence is a huge thing for us. Uh, if we come out and we're confident. Then, then I think things will things will go well for us. Um, I think we'll create chances. Uh, you know, it's the third game in a week, so we'll have to be a little bit careful about how how much we, you know, push guys forward, and we have to kind of manage the game a little bit in that sense. But you know, at this point in the season, we can't really hold anything back. We have to we have to go out there and expect to win. Yeah, I mean, obviously three points back, so we we have to basically have the mentality of winning out and uh, get the remaining nine points, and and hopefully um, Minnesota slips up. But um, uh, I think we've crawled back to a pretty good point, and um, now we, we need some help. But um, I think uh, I think we're all right. Well, luckily we're coming up back here to Montreal where the weather's a little bit better, and um, you know I think guys were, were were pretty fatigued down in Miami and, and Puerto Rico is pretty humid, so um, you know there won't be any excuses tomorrow. Or you know whether it's it's hot or uh, good weather, we're gonna have to get three points no matter what and uh, keep keep on um, climbing the table. Alors, euh, mais les gars ils sont motivés, ils ont un grand défi devant eux, et maintenant c'est à eux à des drums et euh, prendre ce défi-là et essayer de... Je sais qu'ils ne sont pas intimidés de la Caroline, ça c'est sûr et certain. Je pense qu'il y a un bon feeling aussi parce que le dernier mois et demi, on a fait des bons matchs à Montréal, on a créé beaucoup d'occasions, on a bien géré des matchs. Maintenant, c est, c est... demain, on a besoin d'un match complet pour, pour avoir un résultat. Il y a la nervosité. Je pense qu'il y a la bonne nervosité d'avoir hâte, de, de, de se sentir que c'est un gros match. Regarde, dans, dans le monde de, de, du sport, je pense qu'on vit pour des moments comme ça. Et pour les joueurs, moi, je, si j'étais joueur, j'aimerais vraiment être dans une situation de ça, avec toutes les émotions, avec, en jouant en domicile devant notre public, euh, reconnaissant aussi que ça va être un match très important. Pour nous, c'est ces mode euh, play-off, série éliminatoire, et j'espère qu'ils vont se présenter de, de cette manière. Well, I think, you know, for us, it's it's important that you know it's a big challenge ahead of us. Uh, it's important that every player is committed uh, to doing all the little things right. Um, you know, if we look back at games that you know we've we've given away, is that we've played good games, and then you know lack of concentration in, in important moments. Uh, you know, we failed, especially like the last game in Puerto Rico. Um, so tomorrow is going to be important because, you know, Carolina ain't going to come here and, and just walk through the game. Uh, and it's going to be important for us, you know, to stay compact, to manage the game right. I think that in the last month and a half or so, we've done, we played some good games at home. We're, we're, we're getting scoring chances. Uh, we've defended quite well. Now we've got to get all that together and, 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 and play a complete game. Uh, there's no more room for, for error, and, and we know that, but that's what we play for, and that's what the situations that players want to be in, important situations and crucial situations like tomorrow to, uh, to perform to the best of their abilities.